Well, it's about time. We're at the midway point of the college football season. And, well, we've got a lot going on here. So let's just keep on going. Uh, you know, we got we got football on a Wednesday night, but it's Sunbelt football, so it doesn't really matter all that much, you know. Um, you know there's some stuff on Thursday night. Friday night, though, Friday night. Let's, let's dive in to Friday night. It's a trap game. Once again, it's the trap game feeling once again for Ohio State because they're taking on Northwestern in a Friday night game. It, it, you know, it, it's one of those new things that the Big Ten has been doing uh, to appease the television contract overlords over at Vox because, yeah. But um, Northwestern hasn't really been that good as far as I can tell. Um, so Ohio State probably should cakewalk this game, but you never know. Uh, as was the case with South Carolina, Georgia. You never really know. Uh, then we get to the Saturday stuff, which is all good and dandy, except it's not really. Um, honestly, the best case scenario we, we've got there is Florida, South Carolina, which for starters, I'm not sure why, once again, it's another puzzling decision by CBS to not pick this game. You know, you know, South Carolina fans are angry about that. Nobody cares about what nobody outside of South Carolina cares about the South Carolina game, Docs. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, so, you know, Florida, uh, let's hope this isn't, let's hope this is the last week because, you know, George, Georgia lost. They did not play very well. So, Florida needs to play well against South Carolina. Don't sleep on them. Because you could lose. Um, I know some. I know a lot of Oklahoma fans are mad. Um, moving on. Um, I know a lot of Oklahoma fans are mad, but you can't. You you can't help it. You know, this conference does not have really any good teams outside of Baylor and Texas, and y'all. So Oklahoma fans, stop complaining. Uh, you're at the mercy of our new TV overlords over at Fox now. You know, it, it just is what it is. You're, and half the time, it hasn't even been in Norman, you know. Last week was in um, Dallas, and, you know, we got to gotta get out of Dallas after, like, 3 o'clock. You got to get out of Dallas after before dark, because once it gets dark in Dallas, oh, boy, stuff goes down. Uh, I should know so I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth area talking about college football to you all. So um, West Virginia is not really that good either. They're kind of inconsistent. They already got beat down by Texas, so Oklahoma should do the same thing. But, it, but it'll probably be worse. Not even gonna lie to you. Um, let's see. Moving on, there's not a lot of good matches this week, which is. But again, let me talk, let me talk about this again. Um, Talk about this again, you know, um, LSU, they're ranked, you know, number two in all the land. Mississippi State, kind of inconsistent. Didn't they just lose to Tennessee? Why are they on CBS, the 230 game? Don't know why, but it is what it is. Got to gotta, gotta get gotta get something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, oh, TV, TV and, and stuff like that, you know, the TV deals are kind of wonky right now. You know, we're still – this phase where it's not, you know, the next round of TV rights deals yet. So this decision was just bizarre. Once again, you know, doesn't really matter though. Um, yeah, not a lot there, you know, but here's something that is there. Temple SMU. Now Temple beat Memphis last week. Memphis was undefeated. Keyword were undefeated. Now, SMU is uh, still uh, undefeated. They still got Shane Bouchelle, Texas transfer, who's there for two years. He's, he's there at SMU for two years, so this year, next year. So, uh, But this is a sneaky good game that everybody should be watching. If you're not watching it, why aren't you not watching it? Come on now. 
don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. You know, it gets better from here. we got to talk about Oregon Washington as well. Um, Washington has two losses. Oregon only has one, and that was to Auburn way back at the beginning of the season, if you don't remember. You know, and really, you know, it's it's that Seattle, you know, that Seattle atmosphere. It's kind of crazy out there. And really, it's gonna it's gonna be you know it's gonna be something. It's gonna be something. Jacob Eason and Justin Herbert are gonna duel out there in Seattle. And I think it's gonna be one hell of a game once again. You know, like it has been, like it was last year. It was one great game last year. Um, but you know, it it could this game could end Oregon's playoff chances like that. You know. Pac-12's not entirely weak. Still, they're above the ACC in some regards, you know, because the ACC is just a dumpster fire. But Pac-12, uh, if they want a contender, they they gotta they gotta have their top teams that still only have one loss to keep winning. You know, they're, they if they want a contender to come out of here, they gotta get somebody to keep winning. Baylor's still undefeated. You know, they're taking on Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is no slouch. Um, so really need to really need to do something about Baylor because they really should have lost it already. But another big game during like in between like the two thirty games and all that stuff is Arizona State Utah. Now Utah has a damn good defense. Arizona State has been pretty dang good themselves. You know it's gonna be one hell of a game. It's one of these other sneaky good games, but unfortunately. It's on the Pac-12 network, so again, TV does not discriminate. We don't know what in the world's going on, but I think Herm Edwards and 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 the Sun Devils, you know, they could do something. They could cause some damage. You know, um, it, 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 there, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way for. There's got to be a way for Arizona State because Utah State has been pretty dominant. Um, well, they haven't been losing to an inconsistent USC. You know, they, they've been doing work. Um, uh, so, what the Sun Devils need to do is they need to keep that, that Utah defense on the field. You know, that you know, keep that offense off. That offense is something. That offense is something. You know, scary when it, when it really really gets going. Well, yeah, I should add that, that Minnesota is taking on Rutgers. So, obviously, like I said, Rutgers is absolutely terrible. They've already fired their coach. It's not – they've already fired their coach, Ash. You know, he's – and he's ass. So, you know, Minnesota should just cakewalk that game. Not sure why Missouri's ranked, but they here they are. They're ranked. Um, Oh, yeah, Tulane, Memphis. That's also a pretty good game right there. You know, keep an eye on that one. Tulane only lost to Auburn. It, well, it wasn't close. Auburn only scored 24, you know. Yeah. And Memphis just lost, so, you know. Um, Texas, let's not even be let's not even be coy here. We're going to take care of Kansas. I, I, I don't like Kansas. I um, People are still talking about that damn loss from like three years ago, and that shit pisses me off. You know, it's disgusting. Oh, uh, man. Not a lot of other good. Oh, 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 no. Penn State, Michigan. Oh, God. Here we go. And of course, there's also Wake Forest, Florida State. You want to see Florida State be inconsistent, and then there's a bloodbath in Alabama, Tennessee. If you want to really be like that, if you really get if you really get off to that type of stuff, there's Alabama, Tennessee, right there in front of you. You can't miss it. But Michigan, Penn State, Michigan is not very good. Um, they get the benefit of the doubt though because they keep winning against inferior competition, like Illinois or. Or Middle Tennessee, not Army. They should have lost Army already. Um, Penn State, on the other hand, really hasn't been tested all that well. Uh, but they're pretty much on the same boat as Michigan because they didn't do well against Pitt. 
And we all know what we all know what happened to Pitt. We all know what, what they did uh, to UCF. Uh, but Penn State is kind of inconsistent. They 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 can't. They have an offense that can that can do something, but it, it's just not going to be enough. I don't think. You know, I think Penn State will firmly sit at the, like the three spot right now. Like if this were like the like the whole Big Ten standings right now, it'd be Ohio State, Wisconsin, and then Penn State. Actually, you know, Minnesota would be above Penn State right now. I'd say. Well, then again, nah, Penn State would be three. So, my mistake. But this game is really going to show who who wants it more. I think. It, I think it's going to be about who wants it more. Does Jim Harbaugh? Does Michigan, do they really want to be contenders? Do they really want to be in the college football playoff? Do they want it? I don't know. It's not looking too pretty for them right now. Uh, Penn State, they just got to keep winning. It, that's all. it doesn't matter how ugly it is, but they got to keep winning in order to keep themselves in a position to where they can be like, hey, we're we're gonna challenge for a playoff spot, baby. We're gonna challenge for a playoff spot. We want one. It, it, it's like Penn State's a sleeper team in, in a sense, you know. That's why they're number seven in all the land. But sleepy, sleepy tight team. And so, boring anything else? So yeah. I mean, not really worth mentioning all that much since BYU was inconsistent, but Boise State BYU is a game. That's going to be fun. Which BYU will we get against Boise State? I don't know yet. But, yeah, this week is kind of light, but I'm sure since it's college football, there's going to be some crazy stuff happening. So, with that being said, everybody, that's going to do it. That's going to do it for this week's preview. Tomorrow, we'll have all the NFL stuff, and we'll have the ref ball stuff being addressed. We'll have all that stuff being addressed. And if there's any other videos I've got for the week, um, they'll be out during the week. <laughs> um, like if something unexpected happens, you know, I'll be here to report on that and talk about it, give my opinion. But, yeah, that's... Gonna be week eight, preview in a nutshell. Um, so, peace, good night, and for all you Lions fans out there, calm down.